Did Pasadena's real estate market recovery just hit a wall? I've analyzed the July sales data, and you don't want to miss this month's market update. Hi, it's Eva Lane, broker owner at Lane Realty Group here in Pasadena. If you're like most people keeping an eye on the real estate market, you're wondering, is it a good time to sell? Or a good time to buy? Or you just want to know what's happening with home prices? This isn't popular, but the simplest answer I can give to any of these questions is, it depends. Different segments of the market perform differently. So first, I'll cover the market as a whole for some general guidance. And then I'll point out some interesting trends I've been seeing in the $2 million plus luxury segment of the market where many of my clients are. Recently, there's been a lot of speculation about whether super low interest rates and pent up demand from home buyers would lead to a really hot market during the summer months. But that hasn't turned out to be the case in any segment of our local market. Now, we did see a 23% jump in Pasadena home sales from June to July. But the more important thing to note is that pending sales basically stayed flat. There was just a 2% increase in pending sales, which means the number of homes that went into escrow. This data point is our key predictor for real-time buyer demand, and right now, it looks like buyer demand has leveled off. This certainly isn't bad news for home sellers because housing inventory in Pasadena remains very low. If you can believe it, there were slightly fewer homes for sale at the end of July than at the end of June, which means we actually saw inventory drop further last month. So demand from buyers has reached the level we were seeing pre-COVID, and housing inventory is still low. In general terms, this means home prices are going to hold steady, even though the Pasadena market has seen about a 20% drop-off in total home sales year-to-date. Now, let's touch on the luxury segment of the market more specifically, because there are some interesting things happening here. Home sellers in the two to $3 million range have been seeing solid results in 2020, and that's due to strong buyer demand coupled with a substantial decline in the number of houses for sale within that specific price range. During the first seven months of 2019, there were well over 200 Pasadena homes that hit the market in this segment. But in 2020, we've only seen 150 homes. Despite the limited inventory, nearly the same number of two to $3 million homes have sold this year as compared to last year. I've personally sold four homes in this price range over the last eight weeks, and I've been happy to generate multiple offers for my clients on all of those homes. The picture does start to look very different once we reach the $3 million plus segment of the market. Here, we're seeing 7% more homes on the market than last year, and 33% fewer homes actually selling. This is cause for concern. It's critical that home sellers in this segment of the market don't rely on the tired, outdated marketing techniques that most agents are still using today. High quality video and tactical digital marketing are essential to make your luxury home stand out against a growing number of competing homes. Here at Lane Realty Group, we've been leading the way with best-in-class video and digital marketing to bring our clients exceptional results for years. And that's a key reason why our business is up 30% over the last few months, despite the market being down 20%. If you have any questions about buying or selling in this constantly evolving market, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can find me at lanerealtygroup.com or you can tell, call or text me at 626-807-6581. Thank you so much.